day to you. All right, so it's uh, it's that time of the day again, two o'clock. Um, reporting live from Melbourne, and um, it's the lunch and learn where we get to help you start, scale, and grow your business uh, using tricks and trips that we have learned throughout our journey, and also stuff that we read from the great okay so i was just reading a little bit of an expert from uh, del carnegie everybody has heard about this book if you haven't i'm not sure where you've been living or if you really really haven't and you seriously seriously haven't heard about this book get your hands on to it all right so what it says is um did you ever stop to think that a dog is the only animal that does not have to work for a living a hen has to lay eggs and a cow has to give milk and a canary has to sing but a dog makes its living by giving you nothing but love okay and it goes on to say um, you know by some divine instinct that one can make more friends in two months by becoming genuinely interested in other people than you can in two years by getting other people interested in you let me repeat that part again you can make more friends in two months by becoming interested in other people than you can make over two years by getting them to be interested in your stuff guys this is Dale Carnegie I'm not saying this this is proven the most popular work of nonfiction in our entire life now if these guys are saying that you really gotta go out there and give some love you really got to go out there and give some love. Fred, how's it going, my man? Thank you so much for tuning in. And Amy Lewis, long time no speaking. Um, I'm doing fantastic. Right. So if this is your first live session with me, I am going to welcome you. It's going to be an explosive 30 minutes of us talking about exactly how you can start, scale and grow your business. But today, especially, we're talking about how you can convert clients into um, um, prospects, into um, people that are going to buy from you. Okay, so let's just lay it out, guys. Not everyone is your customer and not everyone is going to buy from you just because you exist. All right. So the thing that I was reading on here is you got to give out a bit of love guys because if you're not giving up value out there nobody's gonna know that you exist nobody's gonna care what it is that you're offering no matter how good your ads are no matter how shiny the objects you're selling if you are not smiling giving it out there and that was a bit of love there I felt that I felt that if you're not giving out any love hit the love button right now because that's all we're talking about because that's the name of the game guys all right so I don't want to lie to you guys you can create a customer avatar they can tell you to buy the latest shiny object to grab traffic onto your website they can sell you all the tricks that are working at the moment to get traffic onto your website but what they're not telling you is they're working behind the scenes 24 7 to convert those people into leads okay so you can't just get people off of facebook or off of wherever they are without actually putting in the work to then convert those um you know leads into prospects somebody might actually stay in your list for years okay and somebody might stay on your list for five six seven eight nine ten months before they even let you know that they're on that list or they even let you know that they're watching your stuff okay i can give you a perfect example somebody got ruffled with something that i said a little bit earlier on and they took me back to a live that i did four months back so you can tell that there's people that are watching your stuff. There's people that are following you, okay? Up until they have been convinced that you are worth their time, that you can help them, then they will raise up their hand and say, you know what, dude, I've been following you for a while. Let's sign the dotted line, okay? Most of the time, it's easy. You know, if you've got a call to action or a heated campaign to say, okay, guys, on Friday, I want everybody's emails, put it on, and then I'll give you this new shiny object. But people would want to get to know you. People would want to get to trust you. And people would want to get to um, like you before they hand you over their credit card. Okay? So it's going to be a very tedious process. But if you are just 
on the offense, knowing what your end is at the end of the day. You put out your goals and you know exactly where you want to go and how you're going to deliver results. Whoever follows, whoever then converts into a client, that's a bonus, all right? Um, at the end of the day, we fixate a whole lot on the new objects, the new system, um, whatever trick, gizmo, or, or things like that. It's fun. It only works the moment you pay that person to buy it and that's it. And especially if somebody tells you something is for a limited time only, that's as long as it's going to work for a limited time. All right. So you really want to go down with the fundamentals of exactly how all of this works. Okay. You want to make sure that your mindset, which I'm going to refer to as the hardware. Okay. Your mindset is towards where you really want to take your business or your company or your clients as soon as they sign up with you. And whatever tricks or tips that you might have, that's the software. Okay. So a lot of people are going in for the software, but are using old and outdated hardware. All right. Have you ever tried to update your iPhone uh, with the new iOS 10, but your iPhone is still an iPhone 3? The software will reject it. You know why? Because your hardware is not ready to use that software. So no matter how shiny an object is, or no matter how much proof that person gives you that that thing works, or that new system software is going to work to convert clients for you, it's not going to work for you because you haven't put in the, the, the groundwork. You haven't got the mindset. You don't know what to do with the people as soon as they land into your list. You don't know what to do with the people as soon as they are on your page. You don't know what content you're going to give them. You don't know how to treat them. You don't know how to talk to them. You don't know what they want. You don't know where you can take them and you don't know where they want to be taken to. All right. You really got to realize that when you're talking to people, especially if somebody hands you over their email address in exchange of some um, lead magnet, the only lead magnet you really got to concentrate on in 2017, guys, I'm not going to lie, is love is authenticity as being genuine. That's the best lead magnet you can lead with before anyone even looks at the crappy lead magnet that you have on your website. If they don't feel it, if they don't see it, if they haven't heard about it or somebody's talking about it, then you've lost it before you've even opened up your mouth. Okay, so if you're not really going to put your heart, soul and energy into this game, you're going to be meeting people like me every single day that are going to be telling you that you're cheating yourself and you're lying to yourself. You're not going to make it. But if you really sit down and you start understanding how people actually respond to certain um, ways of thinking, because it's all the same. The way you ask a girl out, the way you go and buy a car, the way you buy a house, the way you buy the software that helps in your business, the way you go to school, somebody is always selling something. And it's all fundamental. There's always going to be a recipient and there's always going to be the person who's receiving. Okay. So if you're on the other side of the cash register, you want to make sure that the other person is not hesitating to give you the money anytime you ask for. Okay, because if you're in business, I want to tell you this for nothing. You want to be getting money from people for you to function. You want to be getting money from people for you to buy softwares, for you to buy all these other things. But you're not going to be able to do that if you cannot ask for it. And if you cannot ask for it and you don't have the systems or procedures and the many reasons of actually asking for the money, no one is going to give it to you. All right. So no matter how you're going to bring them across, no matter how you're going to use whatever trickery that's on the Internet, if your house is not in order, if your heart is not in place and if your mindset is not in tune, all that is going to be a waste. And that's the name of the game, guys. The only lead magnet that you actually really need to be working on is this, your heart. Okay, and once you do that, you start working on your mindset, then you can go into the deliverables. Because if any of those things are not working together, people can tell. People are going to see that you're just a one click wonder, or you just copied and pasted that from somebody else because people will follow you for eight months. 
and they want to see you showing up and if you're not showing up then they're not going to buy nothing from you okay so the day you decide you're not going to show up maybe somebody woke up and said oh my god that prosper guy let me see what he's got today and you don't show up you've missed it for that person you started the clock right around again for the next six months for them you know why because they're going to start they're going to make you start okay and that is really the name of the game guys i could end this video right now because i don't think there's anything more to be added to that piece of information anything else that comes in oh yeah limited edition oh this is only nine seats left or whatever it is i will tell you something guys a webinar or any software if you it's it's coming in from the internet it can be duplicated or if it's a webinar you could always buy seats all right and add extra people all right so all this scarcity mindset it only works for those people that are afraid those people that are not ready all right if something is really meant for you it will come around all right so you really want to make sure you've got all that in check people need to understand that you the right kind of person to help them with the right kind of pain and you've got the right kind of product and you're not just a one click wonder what we're talking about here guys is how you can actually convert people online people need to see your work people need to see your stuff people need to see you in action at least six times so you gotta show up guys you know and that's the name of the game you know what i mean you can create a customer avatar for your ideal client and get them into your sales funnel and provide them with all this kind of yiggity yagada stuff that is all over online but if you don't know the art and science of how to actually then convert them you're not going to be successful all right i'm actually one of the good ones out there you know why because i don't really take anyone's bullshit all right you need to figure out who exactly your customer is you need to figure out how you're going to serve them and if you don't got that right from the get-go normally i don't take you on as a client because the people that i work with we need to make sure that we're going to get results for them all right so you can imagine people are watching what you're doing if you're going to be selling anything online and you just show up and say hey buy this book they don't know you they have never heard about you and if you're not genuinely staying there longer than two days for them to be satisfied that if i give this person my credit card and i purchase this thing they're still going to be there tomorrow just in case this thing is not delivered does that does that really make sense to you because you are selling to people that are in a world bounded with fear and you know they're, they're being bombarded with all this inadequacy all the news that they're listening to every single day that is threatening their whole livelihood and you need to provide a safe haven for them to actually be able to say you know what i think this guy should be the guy that can help me get from where i want to be to where i want to go all right so the only really thing if you can take anything out of this talk here today is you now really gotta ask yourself do i really 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 want these people's money because if you really want somebody's money you're gonna have to earn it okay and it's not gonna be an easy drift of you just showing up on a website or you just putting up a landing page with some facebook ads or whatever it is every single thing that you do every time towards you converting those people is gonna add into your sweat equity all right sweat equity okay so it is the most important step guys the reason why we're all in business the conversion part and nobody really goes deep into that part they can teach you how to sell they can teach you how to um you know what to do after with the clients but nobody really tells you the science of what actually happens towards conversion this is exactly i'll paint a picture for you somebody has seen your ad all right they're probably sitting in a tram or they're probably sitting in their office and it's probably going to be their smoke break okay so they get off where they're sitting and then they start walking around they just scroll through their facebook see your ad okay that's good you've made an impression but are you the only thing that's happening within their periphery okay the boss starts yelling at them because they didn't put in their report uh, in time and then before they know it it's already five o'clock they're already going home are they going to remember your ad 
Not at all. There's so much that's happening around people's lives, so much that if you actually just take a look at what's going on in your day-to-day -day basis, you would actually stop even doing Facebook ads. Unless you've got really deep pockets, okay? I'm not saying don't do Facebook ads, but I'm saying there's a whole lot more that needs to go into your marketing strategy than you just putting out an ad and expecting people to come through to you. Have you looked at what you've done ever since you've woken up? You probably have kids. I've got a little girl, right? So I get up and I, you know, um, maybe take her out of her court and then... Uh, um, give her a shower we have breakfast together and then I get ready and then I just stumble down to my office and we start working the first thing I do when I get into my office is look at you know if I had emails from overnight because I've got international clients for them it's day and if that's not the case I start planning my day or I would have planned it before now at what point have I seen your ad at what point have you seen anyone's ad right now in the news feed unless you've got me in a little corner right there? So no one is just sitting out there waiting for you to come and sell things to them. You got to go out there and make them want it. And half the time, if you don't have the deeper pockets, you got to give your love. On your page, on your Facebook, there, be present and make sure people really, really see that you are there for them and you're not just a one-click wonder. All right. What I read here, oh, forgotten where the page is at. What I read here, guys, is exactly something. Every time you're gonna see a dog, just look at what the dog does. It it does not give you any milk. It does not even work for a living. It just lays there and gives you love, and you feed it. All right. So can you imagine you being the dog and your customers are just coming on and feeding you with all the money that they've worked hard for? right because the money that we're asking people to pay us is money that they've earned with their blood sweat and tears so you also have to deserve that money in their own eyes okay if you're if you're selling something that's more than somebody's um if you're selling something that's more than someone's um hourly rate you're gonna have to show up for that money and especially if you're you're selling something that's more than somebody's monthly salary or somebody's yearly salary you kind of have to do a whole lot more than just being there with your Facebook ad. Do you know what I mean? All right. So, you know, this is probably the most important part of what the online prosperity blueprint really, really teaches you. How to convert your clients. You know what I mean? All the other parts, I don't know if you can actually see that. But if you want a copy of the prosperity blueprint, just ask for it, guys. Okay? You see, you know, when, you, when you're only talking to people that now know like and trust you converting them will be a whole lot easier you know what i mean and there's so much happening in people's lives but if they can stop what they're doing and listen to you for at least two minutes appreciate that attention because they could be anywhere else in the world right now and i really really appreciate everyone that's watching this video right now i so worship you the ground you step on if ever there's anything i can do for you being here just this particular moment i appreciate you and don't you never forget that you can't just expect people to to show up your website there's now a whole lot of people that are starting a business every second day if somebody has a bedroom sweatpants and a laptop they're an entrepreneur you, you know what I mean? I, I see that every day. And some people are just one-click wonders. I want to start working with a team of people that really want to work beyond tomorrow. People that really want to work in a business that would last at least the one week if they've stopped working. You know why? Because you got to put the love, the energy, and actually get people to trust you. Because without that, you're not going to go anywhere else. You will be trading on you know soft ground or you'll be just trading on water or on thin ice you want to create an environment or a platform where people are going from where they really want to where they are to where they really want to be and i suppose if you're a coach you're a consultant or you're a digital entrepreneur you're not just out there trying to steal people's money you're out there trying to help them actually solve problems and you're there to really 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 help people actually succeed and make their lives a whole lot better now if that's you i just want you to either get in touch with me after this or 
acknowledge by just liking this to say you know what I think this is what I'm gonna start doing with my life this is what I'm gonna start doing with my work and actually show up to the people because we're there to help other people succeed unless you're just there to steal from people or just recruit people and that's the reason why I have no sympathy whatsoever for anyone who does MLM because it's a non-business there's no heart there there's it's just them trying to grow their tail you know and and it's just painful to watch that they're taking advantage of people that are vulnerable you know why because they just show them you know results that don't mean anything tomorrow I want to work with people that are actually going to build businesses that will help other people and really, really care to the core what, how you're going to use somebody else's money without just grabbing it. You know why? Just because you can. I think that era has gone past. There's nothing that's, that you can hide on the internet these days. You know, people now really need to like and trust you. And if you're not showing yourself in at least three different occasions or in at least three different ways, there's no way somebody's going to give you their credit card. You might think that you're doing things wrong, but it's only because they don't know you enough. Even those people that are showing up every single day, you're seeing them showing up a whole lot more. Couldn't they be tired? Gary V is out there every single day. He's making millions, but he's showing up. You haven't even made a dollar online and you taking a step back, you know, waiting for your website to work. It doesn't work like that. I really want you to succeed. I really, really want you to win at this. And trust is a very important component in sales, guys, especially these days when somebody can look you up in just two seconds. You are exactly who Google says you are. So if you're not being intentional about what you put out there, people will find what they want. And before they know it, you've got nothing. It will just be crickets every single time you put out a campaign. And then you start blaming people that are actually making it. All right. So the first thing you really want to do, guys, is to build trust. I always keep talking about this. There's no way any new shiny streak or gimmick or software is going to make you convert if you are not trustworthy or if people don't even know you. They, uh, put it out there. Let me know a, a, a system that's working right now without you putting in the work. And I'll show you somebody who's lying and I'll show you somebody who's full of BS. Troy, I love you, my man. Thank you so much for that. All right. So the first thing you really want to do, guys, is to just really build trust with your prospects. And fortunately, trust comes over time. It's not an overnight success. All right. So when you provide value to people uh, for free, it's not easy for them to reciprocate that. Even sharing your stuff, even just liking your stuff or even watching two minutes of your video. That means a lot. You know why there's seven other billion people that could be paying their attention to. So you really, really want to sit down, take yourself back and start thinking, do I really, really, really show up, provide value? And am I worth being out there taking people's money? Because if you're not asking yourself that question, somebody else is. And guess who that person is? It's the prospect. And if the prospect starts asking themselves that question, it's so going to be difficult for you to convince them. So you want to make sure that you're putting out all those objections way before they even have them. It's just easy. You set yourself up. You be the dog and, and you know, when somebody rubs your tummy, you pretend to like it. And even when dogs fart, they pretend like, who did it? Who did it? When they know they did because they're like, oh, snap, I might be told to go out. That's what Del Carnegie says, guys. Other people have to work for their money. A dog just shows love and it gets whatever it wants. We're climbing all over each other at the dog parks there and buying treats and all that stuff. And the dog just follows. Shows you love and you, 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 you do anything for it. Learn from that. Okay, so th there's a lot that could be talked about. You could go and buy the new and shiny, but you're just wasting your money. You know why? It only works for the limited time that it's that they say limited time only. You need to work sure that the hardware, which is yourself, your psyche, your mindset is all in tune so that when the software does come in, it's ready and it actually going to function. 
I work with a lot of uh, entrepreneurs. I'm actually working with somebody um, that's throwing in $27,000 in Facebook ads every single month. But we're getting results for them. When we started working with him, he thought he had more money than anybody else in the world. But now he realizes that he actually needs to start talking to the clients. You know why? Because these clients are the people that are voting for him to stand where he's at. No matter how good you've been in the past, you are what Google says you are. Or if you're going to be good tomorrow, you want to start working today. So this message really goes to you, you and you. Especially you. If you're not doing anything today, don't expect money tomorrow. People are staying in, 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 in our lists or watching us for exactly minimum five months before they, you even realize that they're there. But every single day you do something, you're, you, you're putting it in the bank for that person to pick up and then they will realize, you know what, I think this is something that's going to work for me, but let me get ready for this guy whenever I am. You got to keep doing it and every day you don't show up, every day you just make a boo-boo, you reset that clock again six months. So you want to make sure you're putting out the right message to the right kind of people, Whatever media you're going to use, whatever shiny object you're going to use, make sure it's operating on hardware that's compatible with that. You also want to make sure you've got a state-of-the-art hardware so that whatever software comes in, you won't have a bad user experience. I really wish you the best. I really do. I don't know what got into me today. I normally don't really speak on a preach mode, but you know what? I just felt like it's too much, man. I see it every day. The amount of people I'm talking to that are just failing at life and you can see it's their mindset and they just really want something that works right now, but they ain't something like that. The only thing that's going to work right now is that Facebook ad that just got sent to you and you saw it and you bought it and then you stuck again. If there's anything I can do to help you, just reach out. It's not that difficult. All right. And if you really, really, really want to work in life, remember the social psychology that they call recipro I can never say this word, reciprocity, all right? Which is unconscious human behavior that says that people usually repay another person that is given help to them. And people usually feel like they need to give back with some kind of treatment if they have received something from another person. You are paid in accordance to the value that you're giving into the marketplace. And if you're not putting in any value except buy me, buy my stuff, look at this, join this, that's exactly what you're getting back. And we can tell. People can see where money flows because you don't go out searching for it. Do you know what I mean? That's just, it's a whole different level. If, if you really want to see what I'm talking about right now, have you ever lied to your teacher and told them that your dog ate your homework? Do you think the teacher would argue with you? They just look at you thinking, okay, fine, you think you got away with it, but no. They're smarter than that. They know your dog doesn't eat your homework. You didn't do your homework. All right? So whatever you're putting out there on the internet, it's good for you. It has to be better for the people you really wanted to go out to. All right? We out here trying to make things happen for everybody else, and you cannot convert if you're not giving anything out there. All right. It's not that hard. Take a couple of minutes of your time. You are not that busy. If you really take stock of your time, you'll notice that you're spending a lot of the time not doing productive work. You're probably in somebody else's email and they're giving you their agenda and oh my God, you get stuck up. Have you ever noticed that when you start doing your emails in the morning by 11 o'clock, you're still checking out people emails? Unsubscribe from all that crap. Work on you. It's not going to be difficult, guys. So, you know what I mean? Don't worry about even giving away valuable information. I'll tell you something for nothing. People don't implement anyway. They're going to come to you and say, you know what? At least you know what you're talking about. Just let's help, help me do it. And you know what um, customers normally do because of reciprocity? I cannot say this word. Reciprocity. They will reward you by buying from you. All right, so 
at the end of the day, I'll just leave you with something. There's, there's another concept because I'm African and we normally just believe in hunting and gathering or, you know, that's how we used to get our food, you know. And I grew up knowing a story about the hunter versus the farmer. Okay, and a hunter versus the farmer theory works perfectly in this digital sense right now. You know what I mean? Because it represents the lack of adaptation of members um, of the society right now in how you can actually cultivate leadership or how you can cultivate leads or a tribe. It basically just means that, you know, hunter gatherers, the people that used to go and hunt, uh, hunt for animals and, 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 and gather fruit, you know, they're opportunistic. They would follow that animal that they just find at that time and, you know, lounge out after it. And if they don't find an animal that's just too lazy or too tired from being chased, <laughs> you know, they don't eat. But farmers would actually cultivate their crops and then nurture them, you know, put in all the fertilizer, water them up until they can yield some crop out of it. All right. So don't just go out there and be an opportunist. Make sure you know you are covered and you've got, you know, income that comes in today in the next six months, you know, things like that. You can't just go out there hunting just because somebody swiped right. They're already ready to Netflix and chill with you. It don't work like that. All right. So hunters, you know, especially in this day and age, you will see them. How many people want to join my group? How many people want to follow me? They just focus typically on closing as many deals as possible. And they focus, um, you know, more on the, the sales that they generate instead of the relationships. All right. And I usually call them one click wonders because you know what? When somebody realizes that they've bought from a hunter, they never want to do anything or be known or associate themselves with that person. But farmers, on the other hand, they're working on relationships. They're focusing on developing really long term um, relationships with their customers. And they actually prefer to work with just a few old clients or customers and creating lasting impact. Be a farmer, my friend. It pays off a whole lot more. You won't have a problem converting at all. I even have it here. Sorry, it doesn't turn when the lights are on it. Farming versus hunting on the convert part there. And you're solving, not selling problems. And you're just doing online marketing, small call to actions, and you measure and track that. Get yourself a copy of this blueprint. I really appreciate you for watching this long. And um, yeah, like I said, get a copy of this. I was inspired by how to... Um, win friends and influence people. If you haven't read this book, I also, you know, recommend it. In the meantime, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. I'm not sure how busy the day is. Wednesday is usually my out of office day. If not, we'll be here same time and hopefully I'll be able to deliver some more value so that I can create relationships with you. Thank you so much.